Good morning and welcome to Lake Hume and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with an acrylic pour on a piece of MDF board and um, they're really good if you buy a large piece and you can get your hubby or yourself to cut them into squares, circles or whatever they're a really good surface to use for acrylic pouring um, and they don't warp so and they're very uh, much work out much cheaper than canvas and you can still mount them into a frame or put a, a um, thing on the back that, to hang them so it's all good today I'm going to do a cut pour as you see so I've put in there so far white teal gold and I'm going to um, yeah, just load my colors into the cup that one was, um, I think it's called moss green. Um, it's like a, yeah, really a bottle green type thing. So I'll just layer the colors in and fancy doing something very basic today. A flip cup pour. So that is a nice vibrant red. That was a dusty pink. I am literally using the colours that I have left over from my week's pours because I'm going on holiday. But when you see this particular pour, I'll be back home again. So that's white and back to the teal again. So yeah, using them all up and seeing what I get. Oh, now a nice, really full cup to do my flip cup. So, quick flip of the wrist, just doing little twizzles and then a little tap. Izzy whizzy, let's get busy. Just letting the paint fall down to the bottom, basically, and finding its place. And it's different every time you do this, you will never ever get to the same. So I love the surprise element of this particular um, technique is you just never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna flip, I've flipped it, and now I'm gonna cup it out and lip it, meaning just with the lip of the cup, just adds a little bit of um, point of difference in there. That color is absolutely u beaut super duper. So just making sure you do a very nice slow tilt so you're going to end up covering the whole of your uh, canvas or as it is here my MDF board um, just just take it nice and slow just find if you do it too quick you can lose too much of your of your good bits so enjoy the process relax and just um, yeah gently tilt it Wow, that's really, really beautiful. The colors are really, really nice. I'm just using some of the leftover colors that's in that cup to basically run a ribbon through my pore to, um, yeah, just add something over those, the starker colors. 
really enjoying this technique and just look at that orange how that's gone like a cloud pour underneath it um, it was all mixed with the same pouring medium which was my clear glue and water mix with a little bit of Floetrol in each cup um, so yeah I'm not sure why that happened with the orange but it's very pretty So I've whizzed over with the heat wand and now I'm going to add the it's Amsterdam black with just Floetrol only on that little spatula I just would like to put an Aussie slide call it my Aussie slide because it's Australian Floetrol that makes that oh you beaut super duper cell effect How gorgeous is that? Wow. I mean, you can't um, see so much from the camera up at this angle, but when I bring my camera down and show you the details in these cells, it's just beautiful. Just gives a really lovely kind of a 3D effect, I guess, like it's floating above the um, other detail there. Wowzers, wowzers. I think my decision to do the Aussie slides, call them Aussie slides because it's Australian flow troll, mixed in with the paint only. So it's an Aussie slide over the top of that flip cup. Wow, look at the effects and the colours. And it's glistening so much because of the gold in it. It's really, really super duper. I'm really happy with that. Look at that. So you've got some planar effects in the background. Uh, it's still sheening though, because of the gold. And then these super duper slides through it. Look at the green effects like real gems. And this, where the orange was, that was fluoro orange, bought out these lovely I mean, they look like blobs, but they're actually just a beautiful effect. So I think the overall thing is pretty nice. So if this dries well, which I'm pretty sure it will, um, it will certainly deserve a coat of resin or gloss varnish to really make those colours pop in it. So we'll see if any more cells come out elsewhere as it dries, but super duper happy with it look at the glisten in there really really is gorgeous thank you so much my lovelies for joining me i will be back again tomorrow please take care remember if you're feeling sad lonely or depressed please ring a family member or a friend or a helpline do not suffer in silence okay take care bye